around. We're one month away. Next month, October 21st. Look how mm, quick. Man. It seemed like I was saying it's like in March or something. <laughs> We're uh, a it's month. Time. <laughs> man, like we are a month away uh, for the largest public safety event in the city of Tucson. Let's go. We're mm, coming to man. get it. We're ready to impact lives. We're here to touch lives. We're here to bring healing to our communities. We're here to reunite fathers back to families and incarcerated mothers back to their families. It's going down. We're doing it Saturday, October 21st. It's going down at the TCC. Tucson Convention Center, the home of the Fresh Start Expo. Let's go. go. It's going down. Downtown. We ain't going to jail downtown. <laughs> You're going to meet us at the TCC. We got the judges. We got the prosecutors. We got the public defenders. We're ready to handle and help you with your legal services. We don't want you walking and not walking, but driving uh, mm. with no sus with a suspended license. Yeah. Let's come down to the TCC. Let Take us help you with the city courts to get your driver's license reinstated. Let's uh -huh. go. Let's handle your court fees and fines. Listen, Christmas coming up, and we know it's a little tough trying to figure mm. out, do I pay these tickets or do I... Uh, pay this rent and keep roof over my head. Listen, let's fix that. Let's come down to the TCC at the Fresh Start Expo. Let's uh, work with some judges, get you on a new payment plan. Let's help you to get your driver's license back reinstated. Listen, it's going down. You have had a felony background. Um, you are disenfranchised to vote. Let's mm. help you to get your voters right back. We got 200,000 Arizonians with felonies that is disenfranchised to vote in this election. You know certain politicians mm. count on that. Well, let's fix that. Let's yeah. bring a solution to this issue. Let's come on down to the fresh start and uh, get 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 your paperwork together so that we can help you uh, to get your uh, voters' rights restored, get your conviction set aside. And now, because of the new legislation, we can also help you to get uh, seal your background, seal your records law. So take advantage of these things that was not when we first was doing Fresh Start. Uh, there was no sealing your records. The yeah. best we had was set asides and re restoration of rights. Now yeah. we got something else in our arsenal that can help you where when you apply for Walmart, you apply for Raytheon, or you apply for TUSD um, and do that background check, um, you, they will not be able to see a background. That's super dope, man. That is yeah. the closest Arizona have ever gotten to expungement. So listen. Uh, you want to take advantage of that. Meet us there. City courts is there. Juveniles, civil superior courts, justice courts, mm -hmm. you name it. Laura Conover, county attorney, uh, Megan Page, uh, public defender, Pima County workforce, uh, uh, Jennifer Ekstrom. Listen, yeah, it's loaded. going down. We we got it down here. Come down and get the help you need. There's no excuses. Let's 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 go. Let's make this happen. So um, listen, we got a great thing going on, and also lockdown. On uh, September, Tom, you 21st. know better me. September 21st is the legacy event that uh, we're, we're Dr. DeMond Holt and Fresh Start is going to be attending with, along with uh, six or seven other nonprofits, um, which are going to present their nonprofits for people to invest in. Uh, on the 28th of the month, Dr. DeMond T. Holt will be at the uh, breakfast for Ford Tucson, the government breakfast, and we're going to be speaking to him about the Fresh Start event. We're going to be speaking to him about what Fresh Start is able to do. And he's going to be talking about you guys going out there and burning the ships. And for those that don't know what that means, that means that the early world dis uh, discoverers went out in their boats. And when they landed where they were going, the captain said, burn the ships. Because there was nothing left to do but go forward. And that's what you guys need to do. Burn the ships because prison's not there. Burn the prison down, okay? Because you are moving into a future that prison is no longer part of. And that's what we want you to have. So burn the ships and move forward because we're going to move forward with you in a fresh start. All right. I love it. I love it. Listen, uh, my brothers and sisters who are caught incarcerated right now, we want mm -hmm. you to keep the faith. We want you to keep hope alive don't lose hope don't give up don't give in uh you got a brighter future ahead mm -hmm. uh i want you to know uh as our slogan say you know mistakes should just be a, a, a lesson not a life sentence mm -hmm. and um we, we've all made our mistakes it's just some of us got our hands caught in the cookie jar at mm -hmm. the wrong place at the wrong time but i thank god for a restorative god 
Mm. I thank God for a God of justice. I thank God for a God, uh, not a second chance, but another chance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thank God for just being very faithful to make sure that uh, a brighter future is ahead of you. Um, will everything be easy? No. Will mm. you get some doors shut in your face? Yes. Will some people tell you, no, it's impossible? Yes. But let me tell you, all you need is your faith and hard work and to the tenacity to never give up and you can achieve Mm. you can rebound you can live your best days it's not over and it's not just about jobs you got so much skill and talent that god gave you that you can you got a million dollar idea sitting right that's right there Mm. All it need is some natural so God can pour his super on it and some amazing things uh, can come forth. Tom, what do you think about that, man? Well, it's fear, bro. And and we talked about it last week. We talk about it every week, man. And it, it, it fear of the unknown. And, and we have to stop fearing those things because that's what's holding us back. That fear is holding us back. And, and, and if in this moment we would plunge forward and say, you know what? There's nothing that I can't do. And, and if this is what I need to achieve in order to be successful in the future, then I'm going to go do it. And, and, man, it's so cool when you have people alongside you doing it with you. Um, and, and, and that's the beauty of it. When, when, you, when these guys come up to us and say, man, I couldn't have done this without you guys connecting us yeah. and getting us together. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bro, we're, we're, we're doing God's work, man, because it... He's, he's putting people in our path that absolutely need what we're offering. <clears throat> yeah. You know, and that, that can only be God, bro, because it, just out of the blue, I mean, even these indiscriminate meeting of people during the day, it's like, do you know anybody? As a matter of fact, yeah. it's like God's so economical and his math is so much better than ours. Yeah. You know, that he puts people together that need the same thing at the same time rather than just deal with one person. Yeah. Let's deal with a whole group. So help me with this, um, Tom, and I want you to chime in. But what I want to do is also use the show as a platform to talk people off the edge. Mm. Because a lot of times people get frustrated. You know, they're like, man, I've 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 been to 10 interviews. Um, I got eviction notice. Uh, My girl, my wife, my baby mama, whatever that looks like. It's like I need to do something and I'm on edge. Um, I feel like I'm about to do something stupid. You know, we we just got to talk real on that stuff. Yeah. And uh, I do know, like, if I go back, I get meal. I got a roof over my head. I may not like the conditions, but I do know I ain't got to be homeless. I know I ain't got to have a tent outside. I know, you know, we have we got brothers and sisters who's on the edge. I think, you know, we can use this show to just talk to those people who's on the edge of, you know, you know, they've 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 done the the work. They've done the interviews. They constantly told no. They're trying to get housing to keep a roof over the head of their family. They told no. Some is feel embarrassed. They grown 40, 50, living at home with their parents. Um, some, uh, you know, uh, just hanging around the wrong crowd, getting tempted, getting at those proclivities mm. uh, to make that mistake. Uh, you know, they on the edge. You know, they about to do something criminal or stupid to go back into the pen. Let's talk into that. You know, let's, how do we help people? Uh, to talk them off the edge, to keep pressing on without giving up and doing something stupid. Bro, it, it's it's my everyday life. It's my everyday life of waiting people to bring it back up. It's my everyday life of people coming at me. And if if I would allow that to control my moments, yeah, then I'm going back. Yeah, you know, because there's so many things coming at me in in, in this world, in this flesh. Yeah, that. Yeah, it would be so much easier just to go sit in there with my little TV and my little iPad and not have to have any responsibilities. But you know what? Each and every day, the responsibilities that I have, you know, through Fresh Start, through Fort Tucson, through the things that I'm able to do in the city are changing lives, bro. And yeah. and no matter what I feel at that moment, because there's a lot of moments where I don't feel like I want to be out here, bro. And and that's just being honest, man. That's a yeah. that, you know, because it's not easy out here for us that have been there for a long period of yeah, time. Yeah. You know, and people are difficult. The flesh is difficult to deal yeah. with. I mean, you know, and you're used to dealing with stuff in a certain way, yeah. bro. And the then all of a sudden this cycles. stuff is coming against you. Yeah. And then this comes from this angle. Yeah. And all of a sudden you're bleeding on somebody that didn't hurt you. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, and, yeah. And, and that's what's happening, bro. And 
just remember that there's somebody around that next corner. There's somebody that's dialing that phone and it's ringing, waiting for you to answer it. Yeah. Because it's something that you have. And I guarantee you, whoever it is that's hearing this word, receive this word. Because there is somebody that needs something that you have. Yeah. Because there is something that you have experienced in your life that you can keep somebody else from having to experience yeah. if you were to share it. Yeah. So please, if you're feeling like going back there, get on the phone. Call me at Fort Tucson. Call DeMond. Send, whatever right. you need to do to get a hold of us, yeah. trust me. Yeah. I can show you the light at the end of the tunnel. I can show you a gleaming bright light when you leave the tunnel. Yeah. But stop staying in it because you're no longer in a cell. You're no longer in a box. You are free to live a life that God has given you to live fully yeah. to give back. Yeah, that's dope. And I think that this also this also speaks to people who's on probation and parole. Mm. You know, uh, don't don't do nothing stupid. Um, you need to get your job. You need to. Yeah, I get it. it, it it's not it's not five star right now. Yeah. Uh, but go get your job. You don't want to go back into the pen. You, you want to report to your probation officer, your parole officer that you're doing the right thing. Uh, let's let's talk about. Uh, you know, you got to stay off them drugs, man. Yeah. You got to get, you got to drive. You, you ain't, don't yeah. be mad. Yeah. You know, just because marijuana is legal. Yeah. Doesn't mean it's right to do it. Right. And right, if you're right. doing it, somebody's going to see you doing it. And it's probably going to be somebody that you have influence yeah. over and you're influencing their life to follow your life. Yeah. And you see where your life has led. Yeah. You know, one, two, three, four times in the joint. And now you're getting back out again and you still have nothing. Yeah. You know, I didn't believe for a second, bro, I would ever own a vehicle own a home yeah both yeah credit and you can do it credit yeah bro i have an incredible credit rating now yeah, yeah. because i pay my bills yeah you yeah. know because i do the things that we have to do yeah. in order to read into what society you wants said us something, to do you said something very important when it comes to credit and buying power mm. just because an employer don't give you a job doesn't mean that you're not sitting on that million dollar idea no all a million dollar idea needs is a business plan, um, some some strategies, <laughs> and some passion, and some funding. Mm. Funding is important because in order to have funding, if you got a felony and you got to, you want to open your business, you got to have you got to be credit ready. Um, so you got to do those things. You you just can't be mad, and you just can't be having your lip poked out because mm. things is easy. Yeah. You got to say, look, I want to get this business. I, I you know I don't want to just work a job. I want I I got. I got I got this vision that God gave me. I know that it can work if it get funded. Well, people ain't just throwing money at everybody, and they yeah. surely just ain't throwing no money out no felony. So you got to get credit ready. I'm glad you brought that up because you need to uh, start getting financial literacy. Yeah. You need to start having somebody show you how to look at all the three different credit bureaus and getting all that bad stuff off. And then one one season at a time, get you an open good credit so you can get some good reporting so you can get out of the 500s and get in the 600s and get into the 700s. Um, you at least need around like a 680 and that's still a little low for some of the stuff you want to do. Yeah. But if you can do a, at least a 680 FICO, um, you can get certain business credit cards that can help fund your business. Listen, these are things like we got to be talking about. Getting people ideas that's been formerly incarcerated. Yes, you got to get a job right now because you got to stabilize your house. You got to have some money. Some money beats no money. But while you're making that some money, you could be working on that million dollar plan. Yeah. You know, getting yourself together, having yeah. that credit readiness so that people can fund your vision and you can open up your business. Just right now, bro, there's a dude that did a song on YouTube and made $40 million. That <laughs> Oliver dude, the, yeah. the people north of Raleigh. Yeah. That, and this is the number one song in the world right now. Yeah. And yeah. and this dude was from the backwoods. Yeah, backwoods. You know? Still so, is. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, you yeah. know? Uh, and that's the thing. There, and, and, and all the talent that I've seen in there, bro, I mean, just extraordinary. I mean, the tattoo artists, the artists, the, yeah. you know, people that just create little things with leather, with wood, you know. It's just absolutely incredible if you give these people the opportunity to show you what they're made of. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then actually appreciate it, it changes their life because yeah. you've never been appreciated. I'm a big believer what the Word of God says. The Bible says, if if a man's gift maketh room for him and bring him for a great man, 
Just because you've been in prison don't mean you're not gifted. Good God Almighty. I mean, they strip us for, they strip you from dignity, strip you from your character, your reputation, but deep down inside of you, you are gifted. Mm. I don't know who's listening to this, but I think you need to hear that. You need to be affirmed. You need to be seen. You need to be inspired that you are gifted. And I believe in God's word when it says, if a man will work his gift, the doors will open. Mm-hmm. Listen what it's saying. If a, when on. a man works it, not not sit back and complain, mm-hmm. not sit back mm-hmm. and like nothing is happening for me. I get it. It's tough. It's not easy. But you can't give up putting in that work. God is going to reward you if you work the gift he's given you. You still a chef. You still got culinary yeah. arts. You can have your yeah. own restaurant, right? Mm. You 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 can do all kinds. You can still open up your barber shop. You can still get your barbers. Like you can and, and be an entrepreneur. I mean, so so when when a man works his gift, and that's universal. A woman works his gift. It's universal. I don't care how long you've been in prison. You think about what you've been gifted to do in this world, and you start applying it. The doors will open and, and a wonderful part of that bro is is i brought this today it's called the workforce and innovation and opportunity act and what this is affords is a ten thousand dollar grant to anybody in from a disenfranchised group which is somebody being released from prison yeah, yeah. there's a ten thousand dollar grant that you can get a whole new vocation you can go back to school and get certified with an, a sustainable wage through the center of opportunity yeah. uh, or the, the center of excellence at pima community college for yeah. those programs yeah it's this is beautiful bro and this is federal this is for anybody in the country that that's being released or in a disenfranchised group you can apply for a workforce innovation and opportunity act grant and with the opportunities that are out there for us to grab onto these things yeah why wouldn't you yeah you know i was thinking yesterday and rather as a doctor pastor or leader of fresh start there's two outcomes i want first outcome is I do rather if I'm the pastor, trauma doctor, or the CEO and founder of Fresh Start. The f- number one objective, I do all three of those things to make sure that I make the world that I was born in better mm-hmm. than the way I found it. That's good. Rather if that's in Tucson, rather if that's wherever, I want to leave wherever I'm assigned to better. Mm-hmm. Number two, this is even deeper than that. I want to impact people's lives to the point they give God another try. Yeah, that's real, bro. That's real. Because I I will tell you, brother, that there is no possible chance that I could do any of this without him. Yeah. There is no chance that I can move forward one step without his presence in my life. Now, therefore, there's no condemnation. You're not in him all the time. So when you're not in him, you're feeling that condemnation. So it's... The yeah. best thing to do is get back in here, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. so you don't have to go there. And that's why I like, you know, I had one designer say, you know, oh, you know, your logo needs this and needs mm-hmm. that. And I said, I ain't changing nothing. That F stands for forgiveness. It stands for freedom. It stands for freshness. Um, it, it's a symbol um, that I want people, uh, to, when they come to Fresh Start, that they're not ashamed of. We don't, you know, we don't put... We don't even put re-entry on anything. Yeah. There's nothing on that yeah. to have a negative <laughs> type of con. You know, con- <laughs> if you notice, yeah, that's, just, yeah. that's strategic. Yeah. I want people to yeah. see the F, you know, yeah. uh, for freedom, not felon, for yeah. freedom, yeah. you know, and forgiveness. Yeah. Um, and that and that's what Fresh Start is. That's what, you know, not to get really preachy, I try to be balanced, but uh, that's, that's the power of Calvary's cross. And um, it's to bring freedom. And God wants felons that made bad choices he wants you to know he love you and his love doesn't change um and no matter what type of uh reputation that's been designated to you or some uh some prison number and uh how we've been identified uh all of that is all goes out the window when it comes to god's grace and Uh, We need to understand that if God has forgiven us, it's time for you to forgive yourself. Sometimes Mm. that's the toughest thing is that we can accept God's forgiveness, but we can't let ourselves off the hook of what we've done. But uh, freedom and fresh start is now. Yeah. Life, to have life, bro, you have to have faith, family, and freedom. Yeah. If you take any of those Fs out of life, you've got to lie. Yeah. And you're living a lie. And you're living a facade. 
And God cannot bless a facade. He cannot bless who you pretend to be. He can bless who he made you to be. So come out of there and become who you were made to be. Yeah. Um, those three items that you just said, mm. it's all covered by the gospel. Yeah. Um, the good news. Um, and he said that I've been a, the spirit of God has anointed me to preach the gospel and to heal the brokenhearted, mm. to set so at liberty those. Man, listen, God is good. I don't want to get preachy. Um, but I just feel something today. Uh, somebody just need to be encouraged and uh, uplifted, you know, as these are some tough times. But you can't give up. You, you cannot give up. Think a picture about your your daughters. Um, there's eventually, if you don't get out of prison, you know, you're going to miss that wedding. Um, mm. Think about your son that's uh, about to graduate high school and get that college football uh, opportunity you're going to miss that um you know and our wives are only hold on for so long yeah. you know um and that's stress on the family so listen we're losing time but we want to sp use this space to uh in to speak people off the edge to think a little bit deeper than just being emotional it's to shift your emotions to intelligence mm. And start making decisions from the, the intelligent you and not the emotional you. All right, we're getting out. Tom, any of uh, the resources and stuff going on in the community? Well, we got a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, go to the Fort Tucson website, but please come out to uh, either Legacy or the uh, Fort Tucson Government Breakfast at the end of the month in North Minnesota Presbyterian Church when Dr. DeMolt, Dr. Holt is going to be there speaking on Fresh Start and the future of Fresh Start. Uh, please come out and join us. And... Um, for all of you guys out on the ledge, your best day in there wouldn't compare to your worst day out here because your worst day out here is more wonderful than anything possible can happen in there. Because your worst day out here, you'll still have the choice to call, to love, and be free to do those things. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You heard it from Tom Cortez, our co-host. Listen, we're getting ready to sign out. Remember, Saturday, October 21st at the TCC is going down. Fresh Start Expo. If you're a vendor that wants to be a vendor, you still got time to sign yeah. up. So go to our website. We got a new website. It's done um, at www.freshstartinternational.org. That is freshstartinternational.org. Our mission is there. You want to sign up as volunteers. We need more volunteers. Come on and join us. I'm going to steal Dan Ekstrom's uh, term. We're now looking for, we're shifting from volunteers to Fresh Start Community Ambassadors. Amen. That's real, <laughs> so too. That's good. you to be community. <laughs> yeah. I told him, so I'm yeah. not plagiarizing. Yeah. I've already caught him. So let's make it clear that I ain't stealing. I caught him. I'm not plagiarizing, okay? Yeah. Uh, that uh, we, I told him, I said, man, we're balling that. We, yeah. we, we, so we need more community ambassadors. So if you're not not doing anything come and join us uh, check it out on the website fresh start international.org it's going down listen if you have not been to church find somewhere to go and worship because the lord is waiting to visit you there listen don't give up don't give in uh, it's not over to god says is over um the scripture says be not weary and well doing for if you don't give up you will you will reap if you don't faint. And so I'm telling all our people incarcerated, keep, let's reap. Don't faint. Don't give up. And watch God begin to bless you. All right. We're here every Saturday, 730 at the Fresh Start Show, 106.3 106, 106, 106 FM. Join us.